Today's video is actually about the circle of conflict. And um, really the goal is to teach you how to close the circle. So I want you to kind of see like what the path of conflict looks like. So first there's the rift, that you and another person have a difference of opinion or idea of what needs to happen to go forward. So there's the rift, we're stuck, all right? Um, the next step in that conflict is the talking through and the sharing of differences of opinion. And, um, you know, not all of us have taught, been taught great ways to handle conflict. So sometimes that goes well if you were taught, like, I don't know, good emotion skills. But if you weren't, then it's a big, it's a really intense, it's energized. And even, even people who have been taught really good skills, still there's an energy to, ah, we're not at peace. We're not where we need to be, right? So rip. Then there's the tension of like figuring out you and me. And then there's the, hopefully the figuring out of solutions. That's actually part of my job. If you're not doing that well, please come see me by the way, cause I'm here to help. But like, there's the figuring out of, okay, what are the solutions we're going to do going forward? And a lot of people really stop there, the solutions, and they miss how to close that circle. And the real closing of the circle is how you make peace again. How do you repair and connect? So Gottman is a, another couples therapist who talks about creating repairs. So I do want to like give my uh, references to him since this isn't all mine, right? But like when you're thinking of closing the circle of conflict, you really want to think about like, what helps us feel at peace again as people and as partners or as like a mother and a daughter. I had this moment last night, for example, when uh, Olivia accidentally punches me in the face and I'm like, oh, what are you like natural reactions? There's the rift, there's the tension associated with it. I was actually punched in the face. That was really painful. She didn't mean to though, but still she said, sorry. I said, I forgive you, but there was still, I could feel it. Like there was still that like tension there. And so I was like, oh, we need a process to close that loop. And so I was like, hey, come here, give me a hug. And so our, we did a hug it out. And I was like, I love you. I know you can do this on purpose. Just be careful next time, right? So there needs to be a closing of the loop. So loop and a, like a way to communicate to each other and to show through action. We're at peace again. We're okay. This isn't going to stop us from being us. And I think a lot of couples and a lot of like different relationships don't have a way to close that loop. Um, I just taught you one of the ways that I do it with my daughter. We do a hug, we do a, I forgive you. Um, we uh, will do a reassurance of like, hey, I still love you, you still love me, we're gonna be okay. I do that with my partner. We are. It's a joke, but it really means like, we're coming back to peace and we'll say, I still love you. <laughs> it, and so it's even known as a joke among us that we're saying, yeah, that was tough, but we still love each other. We're going to move forward. I challenge you as couples and individuals to figure out how do you close the loop? How do you close the circle? So the conflict cycle is complete and you really are moving forward peacefully. Uh, this is Angela Skirtu and please visit me at therapistinstlouis.com to schedule an appointment. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you can, down below in your comments, tell me your ways of closing the loop.